the diabolical things Chinese emperors did during their reign. When we hear the word Chinese emperors, surely the Greta Wall of China comes to our mind. They were not just rulers who did some great things. The Chinese emperors were notorious for their brutalities and inhuman acts to maintain their power and control over their people. Let's take a deep dive into the dark and twisted minds of these Chinese emperors and reveal the diabolical things Chinese emperors did during their reign. Some of them are sure to send shivers down your spine. Burning of books and burying of scholars. The Qin Dynasty's burning of books and burying of scholars campaign was a dark chapter in Chinese history and the fear it instilled in people is still felt to this day. The brutal campaign aimed to wipe out any dissenting voices and establish a unified cultural and ideological system within the empire at any cost. The campaign targeted works that were deemed to be critical of the emperor and his policies, such as those that promoted Confucianism, which emphasized the importance of moral principles and good governance. This was because Confucianism conflicted with the legalist philosophy favored by the emperor, the execution of scholars who opposed the emperor's rule and his legalist philosophy was particularly gruesome. Historical records describe how scholars were forced into large pits and buried alive, often with their families. The pits could be several meters deep, and the scholars were left to suffocate underground. The cruelty of the campaign sent a frightening message to anyone who dared to oppose the emperor's rule. The fear and silence it enforced meant that dissenting voices were suppressed, and obedience to the state was prioritized over intellectual freedom and human rights. The legacy of the burning of books and burying of scholars campaign continues to be felt in China, with the memory of the massacre haunting the country's history. It serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of authoritarianism and the horrific consequences of silencing dissenting voices. Xuanwu Gate Incident the Xuanwu Gate Incident was a significant event in the history of China, which occurred during the Tang Dynasty in the year 626 CE. The incident was initiated by the Emperor's fear and suspicion of his two brothers, Crown Prince Li Chengqian and Prince Li Tai, whom he believed were plotting to overthrow him. Emperor Tang Gaozu, who was also known as Li Yuan, ordered his troops to attack the Xuanwu Gate, where his brothers and their supporters were stationed. The Emperor's forces were able to overpower the defenders and captured Crown Prince Li Chengqian and Prince Li Tai. The two brothers were subsequently executed, along with over 2,000 of their supporters, including high-ranking officials and military commanders. The Emperor's decision to execute his brothers and their supporters was a ruthless display of his power and a warning to anyone who dared to challenge his rule. The mass execution that followed was brutal and indiscriminate, with innocent people being caught up in the bloodshed. The executions that followed the Xuanwu Gate incident were carried out with extreme brutality. According to historical records, the two princes were initially forced to commit suicide by drinking poisoned wine, but when this failed, they were strangled to death by palace eunuchs. Their supporters, including high-ranking officials and family members, were rounded up and subjected to various forms of torture and execution. Some were beheaded, while others were tied to wooden poles and slowly sliced apart with knives. The executions were carried out in public as a warning to others not to oppose the emperor's rule. Some bodies were even left to rot in the streets as a gruesome reminder of the consequences of disloyalty. The Xuanwu Gate incident was a brutal display of the emperor's power and his willingness to use extreme violence to maintain his grip on the throne. It sent shockwaves throughout the empire and solidified the emperor's reputation as a ruthless tyrant. It also served as a cautionary tale about the dangers of family conflicts and personal ambition in the pursuit of power. Feng Yang Massacre The purges carried out by the Hongwu Emperor, the founder of the Ming Dynasty, were a series of bloody and ruthless events that took place in China during the 14th and 15th centuries. The purges were a result of the Emperor's paranoia and desire to eliminate any potential threat to his rule. Hongwu Emperor's purges were marked by their extreme brutality, with countless people being executed, imprisoned, or exiled. The purges targeted anyone suspected of opposing or challenging the emperor's authority, including scholars, officials, and members of the royal family. One of the most infamous incidents of the Hongwu emperor's purges was the Feng Yang Massacre in 1351, where over 30,000 people, mostly members of the imperial family and their supporters, were brutally executed. The emperor's paranoia and suspicion of his own family led him to order the massacre, which was carried out in a single night. The purges also targeted the intellectual elite of China, including Confucian scholars and Buddhist monks. 
Hong Wu Emperor believed that these groups were a threat to his authority and sought to eliminate any potential opposition by confiscating their property, executing them, or forcing them into labor camps. The purges were carried out with great brutality, with many victims being subjected to torture before their execution. One common method of execution was Ling Chi, also known as Death by a Thousand Cuts, where the victim was slowly dismembered over hours or days. The soldiers of the Ming Dynasty's army went from house to house, slaughtering anyone they found, regardless of age or gender. Women and children were not spared, and many were raped or mutilated before being killed. The massacre continued for several days, and the soldiers of the Ming Dynasty's army pillaged and burned the entire city of Fengyang. The bodies of the victims were left to rot in the streets, and it is said that the stench of death lingered in the area for months. The Fengyang massacre was a brutal and senseless act of violence, with innocent civilians being caught in the crossfire of a power struggle between two factions. It serves as a tragic reminder of the horrors that can be inflicted on innocent people in the quest for power. Jingtai's Power Purge The Jingtai Emperor's purges were a terrifying chapter in the history of China during the Ming Dynasty. In 1457, the Emperor ordered the execution of his brothers and several officials who he believed posed a threat to his rule. The resulting bloodshed and violence claimed the lives of thousands and left a lasting impact on the empire. The emperor's decision to execute his brothers and officials was driven by his paranoia and thirst for power. He saw anyone who challenged his authority as a potential threat and did not hesitate to take extreme measures to eliminate them. The executions were carried out brutally and indiscriminately. The emperor's brothers were stripped of their titles and forced to drink poison, while the officials were subjected to various forms of torture and execution. Some were beheaded, while others were slowly sliced apart with knives. The executions were carried out with ruthless efficiency and extreme brutality. The Emperor's brothers were initially subjected to various forms of torture, including having their fingers and toes cut off, before being beheaded. The high-ranking officials who were accused of being involved in the plot against the Emperor were rounded up and subjected to various forms of torture and execution. Some were tied to wooden poles and slowly sliced apart with knives while others were boiled alive in cauldrons of oil. The executions were not limited to the accused, as anyone who was suspected of being sympathetic to the emperor's brothers or the accused officials was also targeted. Thousands of innocent people were rounded up and executed in a massive purge that lasted for weeks. The scale of the purges was staggering, with estimates ranging from several thousand to tens of thousands of people executed. The streets of the capital city were filled with the bodies of those who had been put to death, serving as a gruesome reminder of the emperor's power and the consequences of crossing him. The Jingtai Emperor's purges were a brutal display of tyranny and violence, leaving a lasting legacy of fear and distrust in the hearts of the Chinese people. These were some of the diabolical things Chinese emperors did during their reign. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, check out other historical videos on our channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on such interesting topics.